Has your weight gradually gone up as you've aged? Mine has. And I have always been determined to crack this code. And I have to tell you, I have finally done it. And now I've moved my, my weight trajectory in the other direction. Today I'm gonna to talk about inflammation as the primary driver for weight loss resistance and shifting metabolism as you age. So let's talk about the main causes of inflammation in the body. Number one, toxins. Toxin accumulation as we age. About 80% or even more of the toxins that we encounter throughout our lifetime are fat soluble. We're, these would include pesticides, pesticide residues, um, petroleum products, toxins coming in through um, our diets and through personal care products, our cleaning products, and even pharmaceutical residues, heavy metals, and biotoxins that are produced by the microorganisms in our microbiome and even by infections that we develop as we you know, over throughout our lives. So about 80% or more of the toxins that we encounter are fat soluble. And these tend to lodge in our cell membranes, causing inflammation in the cell membrane, which begins over time to create hormone receptor resistance and hormone receptor desensitization. So this is really one of the major factors. Now, in addition to toxins, dietary factors, other kinds of dietary factors will lead to inflammation in the body. And this is really looking at the ratios of macronutrients that you consume. So it's very common, particularly here in the United States, for people to overconsume carbohydrates. And the more that you do that, the more that the carbohydrates turn into glucose and raise your blood sugar. And when your blood sugar goes up, your pancreas has to make insulin to bring the blood sugar back down. And the higher the insulin, the, 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 the insulin receptors on your cell membranes become desensitized. And so literally insulin binds the receptor and opens up a little door that allows the, the glucose in your bloodstream to enter into the cell where it belongs because it's used for the production of energy. And if your insulin receptors are bombarded with too high of levels of insulin consistently over time, they begin to become less sensitive. And insulin is an inflammatory inducing hormone. So insulin induces the production of inflammatory intermediates, which just kind of worsen this whole process of receptor desensitization. So we have toxins and we have the ratios of macronutrients coming into the diet. The third factor that can lead to a body becoming more inflamed with time is the shifting hormonal terrain as we age. So the adrenal cortical hormones produce steroids and all of these are by their nature anti-inflammatory. And there is a gradual reduction in these hormones over time from age 30 onward. And then stress will precipitate the decline of these. And so the shifting to hormonal terrain um, re leads to the body becoming more pro-inflammatory. And then of course you have the gradual reduction in testicular production of testosterone in men and a more precipitous fall in the female steroid hormones, estrogen and progesterone, and eat a large component of their testosterone when they go into menopause. And these hormones are naturally anti-inflammatory, as well as testosterone, which is made by both the ovaries and the adrenals, is a fat-burning, leanness-promoting hormone, and so is DHEA, both of which have been shown to enhance the sensitivity of the insulin receptor. So these issues are all, all interrelated, but they all lead to the body becoming more inflamed as we age. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about strategies that we can use to reverse this whole process and detox strategies, strategies that we can do with the macronutrient levels of our diet, and then also what we can do to, to 
balance our hormones as we age to, to keep our bodies from moving into a pro-inflammatory state.